see register details and we can pass the object to it so this should save our details so let's see let's run and see whether it save the details or not so now I add enter name as desk my last name is Fabregas my age is 26 my email is desk at gmail.com and my password okay we have to create now currently it will display all the data for timing I will show how to hide it I enter Fabregas and I submit and now you can see the model will have all the values so our well state is valid data annotation attribute data annotation validation is passed and now we can go here and we say data context dot save changes and we return the view so now if you check the database we enter a you can see one record in the database so let's allow user to know whether it's whether his details been submitted or not so we can say uh, we can create a view bag dot register details saved ok now we can access this on view we can check if view bag dot if it is not none then this right and to prevent the user to see the password characters we can use another data annotation attribute which is data type and we can say h data type dot password ok now if we are in the application you can see if you type the details won't be seen to the user and now let's create one login we will create a login page so let's create one action result method which says login we will create a simple login functionality where we will check the username and we will if the user is validated and we will pass it to the login page and we create a new form that is we will create a new view we say it's a login view the register we will create one link which will redirect us to login page we say return to login or redirect to login is better and the action name is login so our login form is also ready and 
now we will create a separate class in register view model which will be a view model for our login we say login view model and inside this we will have two properties which would be public string user name and password and we say both the properties are required and this as well and inside the login view we will as for this model this view model often we confuse between view model and model so login view model now we can pick the same field set and legend we'll shift this view back to above field set and legend we will copy this field set and legend and this entire thing and here we will say it's login view model and we will change its text login so let's run the application and see how our login form looks like. So our first view we rendered will be the register view and if we click on the login, redirect to login, this will render our login form. So this is basically our login form. Now let's create an action method which will where we will post our login form. So we say oh I forgot to close the application. public action result login and I use HTTP post for this and I will accept a parameter of type login view model okay so now in this model I'll have the two values restring I'll pick that, pick those values. Username is equal to model dot username and string password would be model dot password. And this will be inside if model state dot is valid. If the model state is, is valid, if the data annotation attributes or validation have been passed, else we will return we will return the view with model full of errors. So here we have fetched the user name and name and password. So we will write one method which will confirm whether the user is valid or not so for that we will create one new method in register service we say public bool is valid is valid user we will accept two parameters which are username and password okay so inside that, inside this we will create an object of our entity 